Hello everyone! In this video I would like to show you the most important and useful features of the UV Pack Master plugin for 3ds Max, and also how the general workflow of this UV Packing solution looks like. Ok, so let's get started. UV Pack Master in 3ds Max is implemented as a modifier. So, if I want to pack a UV map, I need to select an object and add the UV Pack Master modifier to the object stack. After I add the modifier, I can press the Display Original UVs button over here. To make UV Pack Master render the UV map, it sees on input, so this is the UV map which is going to be packed by the modifier. Ok, as you can see UV Pack Master supports a ton of different options. Getting familiar with all of them may take you some time. But good information is such that you don't actually need to tweak anything in order to perform a simple packing scenario. All you have to do is to press the Pack button. Ok, so I'm going to do it now. And that's it. UV Packmaster renders a packing result so the user can examine it. And also shows useful information about the packed UVs. For example, it is reporting that the area coverage of the map after packing is about 68%. Now I will quickly add the unwrap UV modifier to the object stack. Just to show you that the packed UV map was passed by the packer down the stack. Yeah, that's it. Now, a good thing about modifiers in 3ds Max is that you can go back to a previous modifier in the stack and make some modifications at any time. You can do the same with UV Pack Master. You can always tweak some options and repack the map. So, I will change my configuration slightly. Let's say I will enable the heuristic search option over here. With this option enabled, the packer will continuously iterate the algorithm for a specific time searching for the packing of best coverage. The nice feature of Heuristic is that the packer will use all packing devices available in the system to perform the search at the same time. You can find a list of all devices detected in your system in the packing devices rollup. As you can see, the plugin supports packing on the CPU of course, and also all GPUs supporting the CUDA technology. So now, when I press the pack button, UV Pack Master is not stopping the operation immediately, but it is performing a search, updating the render with the best result it could find so far. I didn't set the search time, that is why UV Pack Master continues iterating until I explicitly apply the current result. I can do it by simply closing the render window. The packer shows one more render as a confirmation of the final result, which will be applied by the modifier. And now you can see that the area coverage of the packet UV map is about 72%, so thanks to the heuristic search I got an improvement of about 4%. Ok, another useful feature provided by the UV Pack Master is an ability to automatically align UV islands having similar shape. All I have to do in order to align the islands is press the Align Similar button over here. What this operation does, it takes the original UVs and aligns islands having similar shape, so they are stacked on the top of each other. Just like that. And here you can see that the packer also aligned two islands, which are somewhat similar, but do not have exactly the same shape. And the reason is because the algorithm actually aligns islands using a tolerance value, allowing the user to define how exactly the packer should be when determining if two islands are similar. This tolerance is controlled by the similarity threshold parameter over here. So now if I lower the threshold and run an align operation once again, you can see that the operation was more exact and this time the packer did not align those two islands. Ok, now you may probably ask what the modifier does with UVs aligned in such a way. The point is that if the align UVs are present, the packer will take the align UVs as an input to a packing operation, not the original UVs. And why does it make any difference? So for example, now when I have my UVs aligned, I can enable the lock overlapping option, over here. With this option enabled, the packer does not split islands which are stacked on the top of each other, it will pack them together instead. So now I will repack my UVs. The first thing you will see is that I still have the heuristic search option enabled, so the packer is searching for the best result. And what also is happening here is the stacked islands are being packed together. In this render it is not very visible, but let me apply the result by closing the window. 
OK. And now when I press the display packed UVs button, I can see that the packer is reporting some of the packed islands as overlapping. Overlapping islands are always rendered in red during a display operation. So it indicates that the stacked islands were not split during packing as desired. So this is a very useful technique allowing you to save the precious texture space. As you can see that with UV Packmaster you can implement it in your workflow very easily. Now I will proceed to more advanced packing scenarios. Keep in mind that UV Packmaster is fully compatible with the 3ds Max modifier logic. In particular, it can be assigned to multiple objects at the same time. So now I will select all objects in the scene and I will add a single modifier instance to all of them. UV Packmaster supports two modes for processing multiple objects. If the process together mode is selected, the packer will run in a single operation, packing all objects into the same UV space. On the other hand, if process separately is selected, UV Packmaster will process all objects one by one, packing every object independently to its own UV space. OK, in the next operation, I am going to pack all objects together. When I press the Display Originals UVs button, I will probably see a total mess. Yes, exactly. And the reason is because the packer is displaying UV maps of all objects together, and these UV maps are not packed yet. But now, when I press the pack button, you will see that the mess is gone. UV Packmaster packed all those objects into the same space, so the islands are not overlapping anymore. Great, with such a pre packed UV map, I can proceed to more advanced packing scenarios. For that, I will add another instance of the modifier. And let's say that this time I would like to pack all UV maps of all objects, not into a single tile, but to multiple UDIM tiles. With UV Packmaster, I can do it very easily. All I have to do is to choose the packing mode, which is called tiles over here. And let's say I want to pack my UVs into three UDIM tiles. I will also set the pixel margin to let's say 7 pixels. This value determines the distance between islands in the packing result. The nice feature of this option is that it allows the definition of the exact distance in pixels of the texture. Also, I will set the pixel padding to 1 pixel. It will determine the distance between islands and tile boundaries, also in pixels of the texture. OK, now I can start the operation, and I need to wait a little longer this time, simply because packing UVs to multiple tiles is a more demanding operation. But yeah, the operation is done. I have all my UVs packed into three UDIM tiles now. Note that the biggest strength of this mode is it always packs a UV map with the maximum possible coverage. It doesn't leave any margin of the empty space in the tiles, so all tiles are fully filled with UV islands. The next useful feature I would like to show you is the Pack to Others mode. Using this mode, the user can easily add new islands to a UV map which was already packed earlier. Now, note that I have an object in my scene, which was hidden from the very beginning. And let's assume that I've just created this object and I want to add its UV islands to the UV map which I packed a few moments ago. The process is very simple. First, I need to add the new object to my current selection and add the unwrap UV modifier to display UVs of all my objects for a while. So that's the UVs of all objects in my scene. Here are UVs I've just packed into three UDIM tiles. Here you can see the UVs of the new object, which I want to add to that packing. Now I need to switch the face selection mode and select all UVs which are to be added to the existing packing. So all UVs of the new object. That step is crucial here. It allows the determination of which islands will be processed as the new islands by the packer. OK, with the selection configured properly, I will now add another modifier instance. And I will use a very handy button. Copy from previous. After I press that button, all parameters from the previous modifier instance was copied to this instance. So I can easily repeat the previous scenario. I am going to pack to three tiles and the pixel margin and pixel padding values also set accordingly. 
and the only adjustment I actually need to do is to enable the pack to others mode over here. Okay, now when I run the packing operation, exactly, I got the desired results. So all UVs rendered in blue are islands packed earlier. They weren't moved during the operation. UVs rendered in orange are the new islands which were added to the packed UV map. And also note a nice feature of this mode. It automatically finds the best possible scale for the new islands, such that they cover as much UV area as possible, but still fit into the empty UV space. Okay, the last functionality I would like to show you in this video is another packing mode, groups to tiles. As usual, I will present it using another modificator instance. First, I need to select the groups to tiles mode from the list of all modes, over here. Okay, a few words about how this mode actually works. It simply divides the islands into a specific number of groups, using the grouping method provided by the user, and processes them in a such way that every group is packed independently to a separate UDIM tile. So the first thing I need to do is choose a grouping method over here. As you can see, UV Packmaster supports a few different grouping methods. You can group by material, object, mesh part, similarity and UDIM tile. In this presentation, I am going to group my islands by material. OK, now I simply press the pack button. And that's basically it. As you can see, all my UVs are assigned to four materials, so they were divided accordingly into four groups and packed independently to four UDIM tiles. OK, that was all I wanted to show you in this video. Keep in mind that I didn't show you every UV Packmaster functionality. This video would definitely be too long if I wanted to explain every packer option here. I recommend you to visit our site if you want to learn more about UV Packmaster. You will find a link in the video description. Bye bye!